Hey, I'm Jan. I'm Susan. And we are Our, Our Serenity, Serenity Homestead. Homestead. And where are we right now, Jan? We are down the road from the Shavin. Mm -hmm. This lot right here with the boulder in it is on the auction next week in three days. We plan on getting it. Yeah. We, we've decided a couple of years back that if we can see it from our property, we don't want anybody else there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to buy everything that either connects to our property or that's really close by. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So that's one of them. We're going to buy three lots this year, hopefully. We'll bid on them. Yeah, we'll see. That's what we hope to do. We're, we're going to bid. We hope to get them. The other one is right on the corner, and it's just dropped straight down. But our friend Derek wants that one, and uh, he's not going to be able to make the auction. So I, I reckon we're going to try to get it for him. And then whenever he comes back from where he's working, he can buy it from us for whatever the auction costs. So. Yeah, it was loud bird. Quiet till we got here, and now <laughs> the birds are going crazy. Oh sure, talk talk about them. They shut up. Oh, nope. We got two other lots down here. They're not connected, but we're trying to. Yeah, we have lot seven and lot nine, and this is lot eleven. So <laughs> we have like every other lot. That's okay. This will make if we get this one. This will make the sixth lot on the same block of property um, where the workshop is but it, that's way down that one it's a long skinny block but we're hoping to to get it I mean it's pretty it's and, a nice lot yeah it has a nice level area yep. but then the back end slopes down but we just don't want somebody you know looking out the door and seeing a RV or a little cabin or something here. Not that we don't like people. We don't like people. <laughs> we don't people anymore. Yeah. And this part of the road that we live on is not even graded. No. It is a true dirt road. Yeah, it's like the four-wheelers, you know, the yeah. four-wheelers come through here. You can, you can get a truck through here, but it's difficult, but you cannot get the grader through here. They can't make it. It's basically a four-wheeler trail. We have less and less four-wheelers since we've moved in. When we first got here, they come down here all the time. They used to come down and dump, too. We caught, we've stopped many guys in pickup trucks and trailers full of trash because they'd go down there and dump it. They don't do that anymore. Answer the door with a shotgun, they... They tend to stay away. <laughs> <laughs> We've only done that a few times. <laughs> we seen, I saw a four-wheeler come down here today, and he came down and turned and went down, stopped, turned around, and then came back. And I'm like, you're on a four-wheeler, you might as well just keep going. Yeah, you can, you can get out on a four-wheeler. You can go all the way around, but we've uh, heard vehicles at night stuck back in there. And laugh and laugh and yeah. laugh. Get, get us a fizzy drink and go sit on the back porch. <laughs> <laughs> Had an RV stuck down there one night, remember? One yeah. evening? Yeah. They made a wrong turn. Had him on the camera down at the hippie camp <laughs> trying to make a three-point turnaround. He made like 15-point turnaround with an RV on that skinny little road. It like... And it drops off to damn near a cliff on one side of it. Yeah, and there's a, a tree across it, so you can barely get a pickup truck under it. I knew that RV wasn't going to get under it. And they, they figured it out, but then they had to try to back out. It was bad. But the auction's in three days, and we're hoping to pick up some more property. Right now we have approximately three acres, you know, one little lot at a time. This place in the 60s was supposed to be a resort area, and so they bought all these hundreds and hundreds of acres, kind of scraped out some roads, and sectioned it all off on 
like 50 by 100 lots approximately. Some of them are 125, some of them are 150, some of them are shaped like, uh, you know, a pentagon or whatever. But most of the lots are an eighth to a tenth of an acre. They're very small. But they didn't develop this part of this resort. Uh, this is the undeveloped or unincorporated part. And therefore... We can pretty much do what we want. Yeah, we can do pretty much yeah. what we want. With no permits required. None and of that. we do. <laughs> we do. Yeah. But what I like about this area is that um, all the boulders, let me show you something. Like, that may not look very big on camera, but that's like four feet long. And the lot that we want to buy, those are huge. Almost the size of a small Volkswagen. That looks like a camel. A camel? A camel. <laughs> okay. But it's pretty remote. Um, like I said, we own seven, nine, and then this is eleven. It's got a tree down through the middle of it, but it just has a slight grade and then it the slope drops off. But I like these great big boulders. They're, they're pretty cool. And right down over there, that little hump there is where they used to dump trash, but we stopped that. You used to have a bear live down there. Yeah, there is a bear back there. And then where those boulders are, that's the other lot that our friend Derek wanted. So we'll see if we can get that one. But yeah, this is... Uh, some of the, you know, they make dirt no more. This is it. They don't make any more new dirt. So, what do you think? Think we'll get it? Yeah, we'll get this. Yeah. I don't think this will be a problem. Oh, there's more boulders all the way up the road there. Sort of the road. But yeah, the deer come right through here. And the workshop is that way about 600 feet through the woods. And the deer come traipsing through here. So, whew, these gnats are bad. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm hoping that we'll get it. It's got a big open area here in the middle. And I guess because these trees fell down. So once we clean that up, that that's a nice clearing. Just a few small trees. But, not... Thick woods, but woods nonetheless. So. And it's nice today. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's like 80 today. It's been 100, 105, 106. Almost needed a sweater yesterday. Well, I'm... Not yesterday. It was, it was cooler when it rained. Wasn't that yesterday? When it rained, yeah. yeah. But it was 98 degrees before it, it rained. Sounds, it still felt better than 110. Yeah, that's true. But now tomorrow, the low is 63. Uh-oh. Yeah. Get, but, my, get um, my jumper out. We're going to Super Dad's tomorrow and try to finish the rafters for that roof over the deck. Mm -hmm. And then if we can't get it finished tomorrow, then we'll get it finished on Tuesday. And then Wednesday's the auction. So, got to get it done. So, and how are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. I got, um, what I say you said I had? A little inflammation around my uh, surgery area. Apparently I lifted something or twisted or something. I did something to irritate it. Had to go back and see the uh, back doctor. So he just gave me some more drugs. <laughs> steroids, right? Yeah, but he gave me some steroids, which really helped. It has helped? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, I got the VA sending me some more in case I, I just take it as needed. Try to get the swelling down. Cool. So you'll be jogging up and down these roads here pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Soon. That'll, be, that'll be happening real quick. I'm able to do a lot more than I did six months ago. That's uh, for sure. Yeah. I, you know, it's it's getting there. It's getting there. Well, that's good. All right. Well, we just wanted to show you what what little lovely piece of Arkansas we're hoping to pick up at the auction. And uh, 
wish us luck. And I guess you'll see this Monday. Today's Sunday. You'll see this Monday. And uh, the auction is Wednesday. So hopefully we'll put a short or something up. Let you know if we got it. If not, that'll be next Monday's yep. video. <laughs> okay. Well, appreciate y'all watching. Bye-bye.